So I guess to start out with a uh, supplement to to uh, Tuesday's class, one thing that I that I uh, didn't carry out uh, in in our proof, we tried to prove that Dijkstra's first construction was was valid, and we showed that there weren't any infinite uh, sequences uh, of bad configurations, but we didn't show one of the other properties that's uh, that needs to be that ne that needs to be emphasized and I haven't mentioned it for a long time so I hope people have forgotten it and that is that in every configuration at least one processor has to be able to move um, uh, it's f it's fairly easy if you if you give up that restriction it's fairly easy to find to find constructions that uh, where everybody, where uh, where you don't have infinite cycles of bad moves because hardly anybody can move anyway. You see what I mean? So um, so you've got to always be able to move, and then uh, and then once you once you open the once you open the door, then then everything keeps going, uh, and uh, and sometimes you can go on moving infinitely often. So there's this trade-off between trying to hold back and and not define a, a move. Um, and, uh, and and being forced to, be, to to define enough moves that there's always a way to do it. Um, now in the uh, in that in Dijkstra's particular example, um, it was it was obvious that somebody could always move, and that's why I didn't think of mentioning it on Tuesday. That, but we, but it should have been mentioned. Uh, remember the example was you copy everybody except the first uh, everybody except the leftmost copies the the neighbor on the left. And the leftmost m can move only if the uh, uh, its two neighbors are equal. And uh, and so uh, the other, if none of the others can move, then they must all be equal, and therefore the first guy can move. So that's the proof in that case. But it has to be it has to be um, verified otherwise. Okay. Now the other thing was to, was. Uh, um, in the there was some discussion after class as to why um, certain constructions uh, that seemed to work didn't work, and uh, and I uh, wanted to uh, uh, to go through in a little slower detail the proof that with five processors and two states each, uh, it, yeah, there's no way to to uh, to achieve it. So um, with five processors. Uh, we observed that that when, when they all had two states, um, that the sequence of moves had to always go uh, in the same direction, if if in in a good cycle. So so first of all, we know there's a good cycle. Starting in a good cycle, then, uh, if for example processor zero moved first and then processor one, then we could conclude. That or, or, or sorry, whenever pro if processor i is followed by processor i plus one in the good cycle, then we prove that the next one had to be processor i plus two, and uh, so it, it had to be marching around and around in one, in that same direction all uh, in the entire cycle. Now we didn't write down the, fi the, the 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 final part of the proof that said that, that, that therefore when n is five or more that there's a bad uh, there's an infinite sequence of bad configurations and let's let's do that now start out with let's say five and we suppose we're in and and we can give ourselves a, um, a, a suppose x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 is a good is a good uh, uh, an element of a good cycle that's in which x0 in, in which uh, um, well let's let's write down the good cycle uh, for reference uh, this will take a little while, but it starts out like like this. Um, and x0, x1. Oops. And then it, they're all complemented. And then the first one is uncomplemented and so on. So, so that... Um, so in general, we'll be able to get a pattern like this, um, uh, where the, everything but the last is complemented, and then this comes back to the beginning. So these are all known to be part of the states. In other words, we know that if x0 has x1 on its right and x4 on its left, then it can move to x0. Then it then it, then it moves to x0 bar. We also know that if x1 has x0 on its left and x2 on its right, then it does not move. 
Okay, now the the bad cycle comes from something like this, which I saw, I think Dimitri put it on the board after class on Tuesday. And um, uh, you start out with something like this, x0, x1 bar, x2 bar, x3 bar, x4. What? Yeah, right, right. You had ones and, and zeros instead of zeros and ones, yeah. Now let's take a look at who can move and, 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 and what we know about this. Okay, so x0, x1. Uh, x0 has x1, has x1 bar on the right and x4 um, alone on the left and um, claim that, that it can't move. Wait a minute, do you know? Do we know anything about that? We don't know for sure. I don't think that this state has occurred before. X1, but in this, this situation has occurred, and we know that, that this one, I put in the Y here saying, yes, it can move. Uh, this one can't move. This one um, occurs, occurs in here, X2, X2 bar, X3. We don't know this one. Um, uh, but I think this, in this case, it does not. It's known that that one can't move. And we have some partial information here. Now, I don't have to write down. In, in fact, if, if, if these were all question marks except for the Y, anyway, my, I, I know for sure that in the next state I can go to x0, x1, x2 bar, x3 bar, x4. And and uh, the, the uh, one of the keys in this in this construction is to is to realize that you don't have to take all of your moves. In fact, if, if everybody moves when they have to, then again it's easy to make these constructions. But the, unfortunately, these pokey machines that some of them will just pass if they have a chance. And so uh, so this this state can certainly be followed by this state and and maybe by others. And so now. Uh, we try to we can do the same uh, the same thing and uh, this guy can move this guy uh, cannot this guy can move anybody who's sort of on a leading edge here we've got to be a little careful at the boundaries this guy cannot move and I don't know about this one but anyway there's a way to go that would take say X2 is next, and do that move, for example. And uh, what I want to do is make a few more moves and get back to the starting point, or, or something sufficient. Actually, I'm going to get to the complement of the starting point. So that's my destination, is to get to X0 bar, X1, X2, X3, X4 bar, uh, which is for which the same analysis will apply because if you complement everything you get the same information as before and so uh, that's the I want to get to that and then I'll be in a loop then I'll be in a loop after going through one more one more time okay so what do we got on this case um, we're trying to complement x4 x3 and x0 and um, uh, and so we're ready to complement x0 now. <laughs> this guy can move. This one can't. Um, I don't know about these. Uh, but let's do it. let's do x0. So now um, this is this is like those puzzles of change uh, blood into tears or something, you know, change sober to drunk. Changing one one letter at a time. Um, okay. Um, so in this case, it's interesting that I th that we I think we know them all. This one can't move. Uh, this one can. This one can't. This one can. This one I think can can't. <laughs> If I haven't done this wrong, but anyway, it, this one, okay, X4. 
I was going to move X3, but uh, uh, it's, uh, in fact, you're right. Um, uh, this one is, uh, this one is, uh, yes, and this one is questionable. Yeah, because I never have a situation like that. In, 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 I never have a, a complement in the middle of two uncomplements in, in the other. Yeah, right. So, so I want to move X4 bar, yeah, to X4 bar. <coughs> and then, um, okay, so now just enough room here. This is the one where it was no, yes, no, yes, no, I think. But we do have... We do have the ability to move X3. And so, and so the, the, the one who moved was, um, I put a circle around. This one I'll move. And um, this one. And then this one. This one. This one. Some kind of a goose stepping pattern of moves there. Uh, which are uh, which we know without filling in any of the question marks, we know that this will that these will be possible moves, and that's the way the contradiction is reached of uh, that 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 the uh, the whole thing can't possibly uh, work no matter how we fill in the question marks. Okay, any comments on this? You can use a slight variant of that argument to show that you can, in any larger situation, you can't have four two-state processors in a row. Okay. Um, uh, that's the next thing to talk about is, is uh, how many two-state, this is the influence of two-state processors. And um, and uh, that, and I, and uh, it looks that it, it's uh, when I when I posed the problem, I had this uh, this this feeling that with two state processors, I might be able to um, pump information through from from both left and right through to through a, a, a narrow channel of, of only two states, because the two state processor would be able to read the states of both its neighbors and therefore uh, govern actions. However. Um, uh, uh, that doesn't work, and uh, so it, it looks as though, in fact, um, there's a, there's, a, there's a general there's a general result uh, that that is, if you have at least three st two-state processors in the system, then uh, uh, every good cycle has to be has to be unidirectional. That there's no, at least that that in other words, it forces us away from studying bidirectional systems because if if we have if we have any if if we uh, have any uh, hope of uh, trying to to do uh, uh, to <clears throat> to do the thing with uh, with less than asymptotically three to the n processors times some constant we would have to certainly have more than about a finite number of of processors with two states in them and uh, this uh, and this would mean that we would have uh, three or more uh, processes with two states, <coughs> and uh, that's and then there's no way to there's no no way to have a construction that's gonna that's gonna have a good cycle like where the moves go sometimes to the left and sometimes to the right. So that's the uh, 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 that's the way. Uh, it looks it looks there, and I and I and I see that other people were making similar uh, uh, were were seeing it in similar ways uh, uh, when I when I came to class today, um, and uh, uh, so let's take a close look at this at this situation because uh, this is the way the you know there's no it's turned out that the that the problem is forcing us into one in, into a, a close study of one way. Uh, mechanisms, even though these two-way ones uh, work so nicely with three-state processors, um, it's, it's uh, all the uh, all the mechanism on that is going to be is, is going to fail when we when we try to get down to more two-state ones. Um, so, uh, uh, of course, I want help on this, but I but I think I have a way of setting it up that that's fairly uh, 
that's that's uh, fairly powerful if we if we uh, if we careful if we, if we do it carefully. And so I, I'm going to start out with the assumption that there are three two-state processors at least, and then I don't care how many states are in the other processors. Uh, you know, a million doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to assume that that the first processor has uh, two states. And um, let's see. I hope this works. Uh, a and I'll and and I'll start out a good cycle and I'll write the first element of a good cycle as a zero alpha zero b zero beta zero c zero gamma zero, <clears throat> where alpha zero is the is the configuration of the pr of processors between. Oh, okay, I've got three two-state processors, and I call their states a zero b zero c zero, and in between in something I want to suppress by having a compact notation is any number of states of processors that are more that, that may have more than two states or, or may not. And I'll call those configurations alpha zero, alpha zero beta zero, and gamma zero. And uh, we'll assume that I ch chose this starting part so that it, so that the first move is um, to a zero bar um, alpha zero b B zero, beta zero, so on. Now, um, so without loss of generality, we can certainly set up the problem in this way, anyway. And and the we get information about any good cycle. First, we know there is a good cycle, so we so we can write it down abstractly. And we and we and we can also say from from this that you know we we know that a zero can move when it's followed by the first uh, the first element of alpha zero and preceded by the last element of gamma zero. Um, in, um, it's possible that alpha zero could be an empty string, uh, I guess, and gamma zero could be an empty string, and then we'd, you know, we'd move to B zero, C zero, or something like that. If it, 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 uh, but if we, if we uh, uh, don't want to worry about empty strings in a proof, at least for the beginning, we can assume that all of these are non-empty. Um, and then, uh, uh, you know, and then work on that. But uh, but at the moment, let's just let's uh, we we know then that that all, that all of, that that all of these <coughs> configurations here are situations where where they can't move. For example, if beta zero is preceded by b zero and followed by c zero, none of these processors in there can move. So we get information about somebody can move and somebody can't. A lot of it just by looking at a good cycle. Okay, now, um, uh, now uh, I'm, I'm also assuming that I've chosen the notation so that the next move will be in the alpha. By the by, the, you know, the, the the next move will be to the right of of, of uh, the first processor. Otherwise, I flip the whole thing over mirror image like we've done before. So so now what's going to happen is that. Uh, um, so, so some moves are going to go on to the right, and it's possible that um, uh, that a zero is going to, will flip back again, uh, and then uh, you know a zero might flip back from a zero bar, but back to a zero again. Uh, because it looks at the at the states that that it now has, uh, you know, alpha zero is going to move to another one, but that's a processor with with lots of states. And our argument for two processors that said that you couldn't go right and then left um, uh, depended on de depended on the two state situation. Um, I constructed a, I constructed an example where the the sequence of steps was uh, went like this. Um, you know, then it's the same same pattern. You go back one and and, and, and you know, and then it cycles. So I, I was looking at six processors, and then I came back to so I, so I had a sequence of, of where the where every uh, the, the first processor had two states, the next one had four, then two, then four, then two, then four. And so in in the total of my as I as I went through this uh, the, uh, uh, this cycle, I had. I, I started out with zero, 
say zero 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 at the end I ended up with zero two zero two zero two if I named the states starting with zero and whenever I step I go to the next one mod mod the number of states in that processor and so one more time around would take me back and this would this would be a conceivable good cycle because this one would would look and if it would have a one on the front on its right it could it it could move back to zero again uh, but then when a zero followed by a one could move to the right so it's possible that that um, um, this thing is going to flip back back after this in, in the good cycle if we're considering the most general case however it's even if it flips back gamma is never going to move because we know that gamma is stuck when it's followed by alpha zero and it's also stuck when it's followed by alpha zero bar and that's the only two cases and so and so that's the the key to the whole thing that no matter that that c zero gamma zero is stuck followed by both zero and one followed by both possible right neighbors uh, it's stuck and so there's no way to ever pass the baton to the left of the of the thing to to anybody there in the good cycle I mean but you know what I mean by pass the baton in a good cycle you know so, uh, the moves have to go from somebody to its neighbor and there's only one exactly one person can move it. one processor can move at every time I um, I was saying before class that the Europeans have trouble with uh, uh, with our um, what do they call it uh, not humanization of computers but the per person there's another word that they use what anthropomorphism. anthropomorphism yeah they think that's really that's really dreadful to uh, to use anthropomorphic terminology for computers but I I just can't uh, do research without it I, I mean it's it's restricting such a part of the language where we have so many uh, other verbs and and uh, adjectives that we can use uh, uh, that uh, how can you how can you actually study something without without uh, uh, using you, you know using what the language was originally designed to, to talk about so uh, uh, I don't have any problems with that I hope I hope you don't either in fact I overheard people talking that way and it didn't bother me at all <laughs> <laughs> okay so after a certain number of, of steps then it's got to happen I claim that we that the uh, that, that that there's a, a time when beta zero um, uh, first change b zero first changes to b zero bar yeah. okay so so um, at which time these haven't changed at all however here we've got a1 and alpha1 some strings that I'll choose to call a1 and alpha1 I don't know that a1 is a0 or a0 bar but I know that it's either 0 or 1 so I just give a name to it now, now what do you think about this situation um, once again now we know that b0 and b0 bar no, no. Now I have to. Now I have to ask, where does the baton go next? No. At some point, I know that every processor in a good cycle gets gets exercised, and so it had to get to. It couldn't just stay here and go back and forth. So it had to get, and, and, and it couldn't go back to the left. So it had to go to the right and reach B zero. But now, how can I continue this argument and show that it's got to continue going to the right? Uh, well, yeah. Well. It's pretty obvious, I guess, Mike. No, if it doesn't go right now, it'll never be able to go right. We'll now. never get to C zero because we, we're blocked. And there's no way to go to the left. Okay, but <coughs> but if we had only two two state, if if I had started out with a with a smaller construction, only two, then it would be conceivable that beta zero was empty, and that I had a two state processor at the left end and a two state processor at the right end, and that the and that we could have a good configuration going back and forth. In fact. Um, Dijkstra has actually constructed such a thing. All the processors in the inside have four states in his in his construction, um, and uh, uh, but it works for any in general for any end that you have two you have two states um, uh, at either side and then uh, ricocheting uh, back and forth uh, and also having all the other properties that we need 
to fill, filling it in so that there's always somebody can move and always converges and find time and so on. But with three, they, we're going to have to go to the right, otherwise we'll never reach the third, the third processor. So this argument wouldn't work for two, but with three, uh, it's, 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 it's got to work. And so now uh, we're in the same situation we had before. It has to move at this point um, to the right. And, uh, and this alpha one, A1 alpha one, followed by either zero or one, is known to be uh, dead. So after a certain amount of time, we get to a point where we reach C0, and then it goes to C0 bar. Um, and that will exercise the third processor. And now we continue in the cycle. So this will be, take us to B1 beta 1. And so on. Um, uh, the same thing is going to happen where we go alpha, A1 alpha 1, A1 bar alpha 1. Um, C1 gamma 1, C1 gamma 1. Okay. Now add n to add, add m to to all subscripts or i, I guess. You know, change. So everywhere you see a sub zero, read a sub i. Alpha sub zero is alpha sub i. And every time you read sub one, call it sub i plus one. And the same thing is going to hold uh, ad infinitum. And then uh, uh, since these uh, these strings are, are eventually finite, it's going to eventually be be, be cyclic. There's going to be some p so that a sub zero is going to equal a sub p and a sub one is going to equal a sub p plus one and so on. But my notation here is not depending at all on how many states there are in these processors. It just says that this pattern is going to go, and go on and on. Uh, and the good cycle has got to have this. Every good cycle defines um, a sequence of a's, alphas, b's, betas, and stuff like that um, that, um, uh, that has certain properties. We want to figure out what the properties are. And the, and the final clincher, which I haven't been able to uh, figure out how to do, but uh, 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 I haven't spent much time on it, but I think that it's, it's within, which it, within reach, is to, is to try to construct a, uh, a, an example showing that uh, we're, we're, we're going to be able to get an infinite sequence of bad moves, uh, of bad positions. Um, uh, based on the information that we gather from this, this is my. I mean, so, I mean, I'm assuming that if I start at two places in the period, that there would be a way to. But you're going to need more than three two two state processes. Right, right. I might. I don't know. I mean, it's. Um, I, uh, it's. Uh, but it, anyway, this kind of a pattern would also work, of course, for four, four or five or six, some finite number, um, and. Um, uh, so I want to make sure first that everybody understands uh, that this this was Once in alpha state, this was forced on us with, a, with with four two-state processors that rule out the fact with four two-state two processors my head of, with four two-state processors you can you can make one of these constructs oh. that works in a direction and doesn't have uh, any cycle of bad states that's that's an interesting point. And so you need... So we couldn't possibly come up with the construction. Because you can have the other problems. As long as these are alpha. Yeah. yeah. If these are non-empty, if we require yeah. these alphas to be non-empty, we could conceivably do it. But otherwise, we can't. It's, um, yeah. Because we have an example of the four, of the four processor case that, uh, that just happens to work. Yeah. Right. Before I erase this, I want to mention I had this. I, I, I worked out the state table for a, a situation like this where I went, you know, two two states, four states, two states, four states, so on, and I and uh, everything seemed to work together very beautifully. I, I I worked out, you know, all the moves that were occurring in these things, and and uh, the uh, uh, you know the four the four state ones I encoded as two binary. As, as two two variables, and there was a, 
there were nice equations uh, 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 saying how these would change based on their neighbors, and I could put together two good cycles that just perfectly matched and intermeshed with each other. And it seemed to me that that everything was sort of being f dictated to me by higher authority. That this had to be uh, this had to be a good you know th this construction was was going to be of some interest uh, uh, because it was all fitting together uh, by magic. And, and fi finally, I had the whole thing down and I could even prove that everybody in every situation somebody could move and uh, I thought, oh well this must this is just uh, too good to be true so I wrote a computer program to check it out and I uh, found a, a bad cycle of length 32 uh, in, in the darn thing so I could so I so the whole thing is is wiped out I have no construction that that works six processor case not even in the four processor case did it work on that one but we can we can deduce certain things about this and this says that for example we can say that a sub i alpha sub i uh, zero and one um, alpha sub i cannot move none of the processors in in there when alpha Alpha sub i is preceded by a sub i and followed by either 0 or 1. Uh, 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 there's, it's impossible for alpha sub i to move. Um, and um, uh, why is that? Well, because here's a, for example, here's a place where, uh, uh, where they don't move, followed by a 0 and followed by a 1. And so they can't move. Okay. Um, that's um, uh, uh, on the other hand, a, a i bar alpha i, um, and and uh, followed by b sub i minus one um, alpha i can move. And in fact, uh, this leads after a certain number of steps to I'm sorry, it's BI. It's this case where the I's are equal. It leads after a certain number of steps to AI plus one, alpha I plus one, BI. Um, uh, if if uh, A I is preceded by um, gamma gamma I. Um, this is a technicality, but in, I don't really know that this would lead to this unless I unless I know the uh, if the if if the motion ever passes back to the left. It also depends on having on on, on knowing this the the neighbor. Of uh, the leftmost neighbor of uh, of A, so it has to be preceded by if A I if it, it on the left is preceded by the last character of C I gamma I, which is non empty because C I at least is is non empty, uh, then then I know that 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 this uh, that it'll march through this this configuration, um, but but if if it's not if if A I is preceded by another thing. Or if it's followed by, or if alpha i is followed by um, uh, the opposite, bi bar, then um, it's not it's not sure what this will go to. It's it's possible that it's first step you can take, but then after that, uh, we don't. It, um, it's not uh, it's not absolutely clear that this is going to what this is going to do. It might it might go on and on looping indefinitely, in which case. Uh, the whole thing is bad, and and we don't need uh, we don't need to worry about it. I mean, if that's a bad case, it might go. It might die out. It might be. It might. If if we put bi bar here, or or the wrong symbol in front of uh, where there could be you know lots of lots of different symbols, the wrong symbol in front of this, it's possible that this would would go into an infinite loop. Uh, but then um, we don't worry. Uh, it's possible also that it would die out completely. 
because that situation never occurred in the good cycle. Um, and uh, uh, so, uh, of course, then we would have to argue that uh, that somebody has to move in any configuration, so there must be some other place that so that something c can go on. But it's it's uh, it's a nuisance, but it, it's possible that it can die out completely, and that has to be taken into account. Um, but but. Uh, but if if we happen to know that that this is surrounded by the right environment, then we then we do know some transition about these about the alphas that the alphas and the a's will, will move in that in that fashion. Now we got so that's that's information that we've got. Then we also have one more piece of data, and that is. Uh, if I hope to help, I have this right. If I have alpha i plus one, I'm assuming that they're non-empty now. I guess I can. I don't need that assumption. And then I say b i beta i um, b i can move. And and then of course in this one, b i bar. It cannot. Mm -hmm. I, I, I guess I got to follow this. Oh, let's forget about the case that it's. Let's assume that these alpha, beta, and gamma are non-empty. I think, uh, as as uh, um, Anil points out, that we aren't going to get a proof in general for just three. Uh, if we if we allow the possibility of empty things here, uh, uh, everything is consistent with uh, with still having a good situation. So if we if we we might have a way to, to if we assume that these that these are non-empty, then um, um, uh, we might be able to construct uh, something that would would show that that uh, uh, you've got to have at least. Um, I mean that that, that that you can't have three two-state processes with uh, with uh, non-empty things in between them, and that would show that you couldn't have any more than that you ha that you couldn't have a, any more than six or something two-state processes. Right? So so in this situation, B I can move. In this situation, it can't move. And I made these non-empty so that I wouldn't have to worry about going going further in this notation. And um, the there's a, the end condition is slightly different. A sub i alpha i gamma i plus one is that a sub i um, I'm sorry. I, I I got this is not my notes here. Wait wait a minute. What did I do? Oh, I have another another um, line here. A alpha sub i b sub i beta sub i. B I can't move. That's another. That's another. Um, I want to. I just want to abstract all the all the information that I can get. So because we can use that as, you know, that's the ammunition we have for proving anything. Yeah, the uh, uh, the, um, the the lemmas or, or axioms that we have to have to go on for constructing anything out of this. So let's get all the try to get all the mileage I can out of the out of the out of the data. Um, at a, at a higher level, and then um, there's a similar case at the at the left point, but it was something like a i alpha i gamma i minus one. Um, no, sorry, gamma i uh, it says that a i can, can move, um, and a i bar uh, it can't. Then after it And finally, also in gamma i minus one, a i 
Alpha I, AI can't. Or processor I, I guess I should really say it can't move. <clears throat> so the, the subscript of this of the of the left neighbor is decreased by one in the case of the of the uh, of the of A. Uh, but B and C, you, you know, there's some there's some uh, point where where uh, the subscripts are are against us, uh, where we have to we, we have to have to go into the next lap of, uh, around the track, and and if we, our subscripts say what lap we're on, okay. If I had chosen the subscripts to be, you know, sort of um, a zero b minus a third c minus two thirds, and then no plus. Sorry, this would be one third, two thirds, and then one one and a third, one and two thirds, and so on. And then every you know, then everything would would be. Uh, 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 I would need a special rule for the for the left case and the right case, probably. Uh, but otherwise, I do. So, so now, uh, 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 as Anil said, that you, uh, you got a chart on your. No, this is scribbling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but but the scribbling, I think, is is the right kind of scribbling. I mean, here here's the situation, right? You got two state processors there's sitting the guy there. In the middle. The guy, there's a guy in the middle too. He's the, he's the central demon. <laughs> oh, okay. I was trying to use the chart for two two purposes at the same time. Okay. Same well, the, the the yeah, I'm I didn't mean to to to. Say that that was anything more than the kind of scribbles I have in my in my pad there, but the, but the, uh, <clears throat> uh, the the the, uh, the next step in, the, that I can see, although somebody else may have a better idea, would be to try to construct a pattern like this, like I did here, where we've got enough yeses in our information. To show that we can get into a loop, although, but we have situate at least, uh, you know, but we have places where we know that there's two moves that can be made, and so we try to find, we try to uh, to, to use the fact that we have this, we have this structure, uh, in order to come up with a, uh, in, a, in order to come up with a, with an example. Ramsey, what do you think? I don't know. Nice. The notes. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. Somebody, so, somebody, it has to do without thinking and just take notes. Right. So. Uh, John, what do you think? Just, just beware, Neil. You're at the end. <laughs> yeah. Have a special rule. We just reflect it off. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, this, this, uh, you know, so, so, uh, um, although there's this construct, the other, the other um, construction that. That has only two two-state processors and bounces back and forth. It's interesting, but I don't see that it's relevant to our problem, so I don't think we are, we look at that one anymore. So, that, so it looks like the name of the game has to be to uh, uh, to try to disprove this. Uh, uh, if we can't disprove it, we, we might also come up with a construction that works um, bec by seeing why a disprove doesn't work, as we as we said the other day. But what what other can, can you describe uh, what uh, uh, the state of what I mean. So other people I know have have come to this kind of a conclusion that that two state things have to go unidirectionally. And, and maybe if you hadn't, uh, that's okay. Uh, Mike, did you? you what, what was your? Basically, the same reasoning we went through. Um, Very much like this. Yeah. You and once um, I was working with Neil and Roger on this last night, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get to a two state. Um, once you get to a two-state processor, you either have to reflect at that point or go across, and if you go across, you can't come back. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as you've got um, that two or enough, 
<coughs> if, I suppose if you've got intervening processors on both sides. Sorry, two? Two two-state processors are enough to make unidirectional if you've got something between them. No? I don't think so. No. You can have a selection at both. No, I have to, yeah, if, if they're at the end. If, they, if, they're, if, if they're also neighboring. No, I, mean, um, I meant if you had something between them on both. If oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, them. I see. Yeah, right. If I had a, if I had a non-empty... Um, Alpha and beta are both non-empty. If beta, if beta zero was non-empty, then I would, then again, uh, we would have had to go march around that way. That's true. Because uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get into beta zero at all. Yeah. When Dykes says construction on, on the, uh, on this, uh, he's got a two state and then a lot of fours and then a two. And it's interesting that the, the two ones on the end don't look at each, at, 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 you know, the one on the left end doesn't look at the one on the right end and vice versa. They're, uh, um, um, they only look at their two numbers. So, so his, that's a construction for um, uh, uh, a non-cyclic, uh, you know, straight line of processors that don't that, that don't loop up, loop on each other. And uh, and actually, I I think we might even show that you need something like four to the n states for such a case instead of three to the n because the three to the n type construction doesn't work and I think uh, uh, that uh, that you might that I think it's uh, possible to show that there's no there's no way to do it with all three state processes in in, in, in there anyway I don't know if you can have some threes and four some four but um, uh, so he had a two state on, on the left that never that never uh, looked to the other one and and, and uh, it was something like this uh, I'll erase this in a minute but he had each each of the states was actually two parts, and so your your, your state would be. Uh, in fact, I can just give you the, the true uh, the true clue here. The the state at the at the left was sort of x zero, and then fix the bottom part of the component of the state to be r, where the bottom component is either r or l for right or left, and then the other things in the middle. Um, X n minus two, d sub n minus two. These d's are either l or r, and the x's are either zero or one. And then the, the final one at the right hand end was always the bottom component was always fixed by by an l essentially. And then the rules for these processes in the middle here depended on looking at the at the, the you know the states on the on the neighbors as to whether they were in the l or r states. And so this d one would always see an R there even though that's really, you know, the state, it's, it's unchanging, so this processor has only two states. Um, and uh, the, the, se the sequence of, of good states, the baton went to the right and then to the left and to the right and the left. And, uh, and since these two processors at the end each had two states, you could, you could combine them into one four-state processor I mean, this one wasn't really looking at the at, at its right neighbor, at, at its left neighbor, and this one wasn't looking at, at, at its right neighbor. So you could combine these two and have and have uh, n minus one four state ones if you if you wanted to have four states in every processor. But, but uh, anyway, that's the that's uh, uh, that kind of construction doesn't work. Doesn't you know? It it, it, it can't go on when you have more than two. Uh, these uh, two-state guys. So um, I forget it. Uh, I'm not sure of this, but I think uh, if you have more than two two-state processes in a row, I mean consecutively, uh, the it, this pipe sort of cannot. And you have, let's say, processes which have more than two states on one side. You are going in one direction. This pipe of two two-state processes in a row is not capable of passing on the information from one end to the other. In other state, in other, uh, I mean, essentially, it cannot pass on the entire state of of the processor to the left. Uh, it's left to the processor. That's right. It's it's uh, it's the the uh, it, it's a pipe we call it. In other words, it, yeah, we get filter something in where you had only two bits of information, and so that. So, so two in a row would, would definitely lose uh, that, that it, it could only uh, 
see uh, um, uh, these other things. Because things are going so s asynchronously, I, and uh, history, we can't count on history. If we if 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 we could count on a processor is always always moving when, when they could, mm -hmm. then we could devise some scheme where you could transmit sequence of of bits. <laughs> Uh, but we, but in this case we don't know that the guy has is just asleep or if he's doing anything. I had this uh, this uh, grand idea that that uh, uh, when you go when you go cyclically um, like this, uh, uh, and um, we would try to set up the the uh, the scheme so that everybody would always be moving to the right, and our only problem would then be to what about multiple waves? What if there's three batons going around? Uh, or two batons, you know, going around like this one actually is, is sort of what's happening. There's two batons being, you know, what, what, you know, they move uh, in, in, in jerk. Um, and so I thought, okay, what I'll do is I'll have at the end, I'll have a filter that has the process that it only takes half of the way, it only gets half of the waves through. But I wanted to take the ceiling of half. So if there were, if there were K waves in the system, I wanted ceiling of K over two waves to come through afterwards so that one would stay would stay at one but two would would drop to one three would drop to two four would drop to two and so on and then uh, sooner or later we get down to the only one wave left and so it seemed that going to be fairly easy to make us it's a, it's a fairly easy to make a filter that goes to k the floor of k over two namely you hold back every time you get a chance to the first time you get it somebody gives you the baton you you go into a waiting state and don't don't send a signal to the to to, to, to your right neighbor. Um, and the second time, you you send it, and then and so so the one the filter has a f has a bunch more states at the uh, you know we can afford to have a filter at the uh, at the at, 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 well, somewhere in the network, and everybody else would be would be very simple, you know, always moving to the right some some fashion that would that would do this. And so we, you know I had some hope that we'd have. Uh, uh, a situation where there could be any number of twos in there, in, in there, um, maybe with threes or fours sprinkled together with them, but uh, uh, so that there, we didn't have the problem of consecutive twos. But anyway, just so that they would know that there was a, a baton, um, and then uh, this filter. But I couldn't get one for the ceiling of of k over two, only the floor of k over two, and uh, and uh, without without some kind of a a, a forcing condition. Uh, so uh, with my floor of k over two, I, uh, this, the network goes dead. Um, if there's only one wave and he's waiting there to get this to, to get the next one before he before he goes and sends out the baton the second. So uh, with my floor of k over two, I, uh, this, the network goes dead. Um, if there's only one wave and he's waiting there to get this to, to get the next one before he before he goes and sends out the baton the second time, um, <laughs> uh, he, he just you know waits and waits and nothing happens. Nobody, every, every, everybody's waiting for for him to to uh, keep the the last fire burning. Um, and uh, and there's no way that he can uh, you know send out a query saying are you alive <laughs> because uh, people don't have to uh, uh, you know they only have two they only have a, 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 a uh, the only one way of sending this information through there so so uh, I, I couldn't see any way to make such a filter and uh, and so the uh, it looks like now the, the proper thing to do is to prove that it can't be. That, that 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 once we have a a, 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 a thing where everything is moving to the right, and we have sufficiently many things that there will always be a be an example. Or at the very least, a minimum number of states that you have to have. In all yeah, a minimum number of. Self-sex was first solution. We, oh yeah, yeah. Well, we have three to the end too. I mean, 
Oh, yeah. I see. I see. That's the solution. Is a one. That's it. That would be interesting. Yeah. To see how how many states you need in in the. Uh, if the good cycles can only pass to the right or something like that. Um, now, now, um, there, by the way, there's other uh, there's there's other uh, interesting problems. If uh, if this one doesn't, you know, uh, I mean, one of the things when you're doing research, uh, you don't have to stick to your original problem. <laughs> um, uh, uh, this is a little different from most schoolwork. Uh, that is uh, uh, one of the most important things in research is really to ask questions uh, and think of new questions and and answer those. Um, um, it's a little harder for. Uh, I mean, I, I can't just give an assignment saying uh, now for your fourth problem I want you to ask a question and solve it uh, because uh, you get into a loop. You know, then the correct answer is answer a question, ask a question, and solve it. And, and uh, uh, but uh, uh, that's really what research is often. And what I had to do in this fourth problem is I started out and saying, okay, look, uh, I know that um, that uh, after t after ten years since Dyke should publish his paper, it'd be good to think about it uh, uh, again. And there must be something that hasn't been solved about it yet. And what is it? And so uh, so first I I thought I would I would ask, could you do it with all two state processors? And then that was shot down. Um, so this was my next my next question. But there are other questions um, uh, that uh, that are um, it, interesting and enlightening. Uh, maybe you can think of some. Anybody? One one of the ones that occurred to me that I would like to to explore if I had time this weekend would, <laughs> but I won't <coughs> uh, have time. Uh, would be to find. Uh, for five processors, uh, the best I can do. I, 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 I've got a, a, you know, can I do it with yeah, we, three to, anything less than three to the fifth? The Dijkstra solution has a two four 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 two, which is 256 states uh, or configurations, and and uh, three to the fifth is 243. So that's built. That's the, the the best one. But could you do it with with a, with two states and some threes? And uh, and this is a this is an interesting constraint. Problem or uh, backtracking thing where, where you, uh, uh, where you start out and say, well, I assume that my good uh, configuration is going to is going to have this this many things in it, so I start to fill in the state tables, and then you then uh, uh, you have a list of uh, let's suppose for example that you that you're trying to do one that has uh, two 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 state processors at each end and threes in the middle. So that gives you a total of 27 times 4 is 108, uh, 108 uh, uh, configurations. That and uh, and so you have a you have a graph on 108 vertices um, where there's arc from one uh, from one vertex to another. If that if that's a a, a possible transition from the configuration to the other and you're looking f and uh, on some of the uh, on some of the uh, uh, um, some of the vertices you'll know the full the full uh, story uh, exactly which ones it can lead to on other ones you'll have some question marks yet that you don't know uh, but you can uh, but uh, you can uh, look at the ones that have no question marks and and get and maybe f find that there's a cycle of bad moves um, uh, you see, if you have a graph, you can uh, look at for the properties that the graph is supposed to have. The, the properties between configurations. Uh, one of the properties is that every every vertex has out degree you know, that at least one. Every vertex has at least one successor. Um, the number of successors of a vertex is is uh, is either one, three, seven. Uh, 15 or 31 in this case, because uh, if you've got k things that can move, there's two to the k minus one um, successor. Uh, so you so so anyway the vert so so the vertices that uh, so every vertex has at least one successor. Uh, then we got the property that um, uh, if you have exactly one successor, and if that successor has exactly one, and so on, and you keep on going. 
uh, and you never get to somebody who has uh, uh, who has more than one successor in this process, then you can call such, verse, such a vertex good. And uh, and uh, if you but if you can get to a situation where there's where there's a bad that comes back to itself, then you know you're out of luck. And so you can you can uh, you can reject you can you can look for the the, the most interesting uh, par, uh, part of your of your uh, specification that hasn't been filled in and try to and and see if there's a way to do it uh, that would just construct then um, um, the a a uh, uh, a solution if there was one with a smaller number of states. So that might, might or might not be possible. Uh, we know for four processors that you can do it with 16 states. It just seems strange that with five you'd have to go all the way up to 254, 43. Okay. Now, um, so let's 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 uh, however return to the. Well, I haven't gone around the table yet. Anybody else have have partial hints to the to the problem? Everybody looks at their papers. I guess that nobody's anxious to talk anyway. So. Okay. <laughs> you have random scribbles, yeah. So let's take let's try something like this. Suppose that I start out with A zero, alpha zero, B one um, beta one, what C one gamma one, for example. What what can we you know just to try that? Does that give us anything? Uh, what what do we know about about that? Other than that, it's with a different color of chalk. Okay. <coughs> what what can what can you say about this? Uh, about the successor to this, uh, if anything. It's probably, well, I think what we really need to find is this, if you look at one of the sequence, like the sequence of BIs, and find some part where that matches itself so that you can shift it. Okay. So so uh, look at the B, the sequence B0, B1, B2, and, and see if there isn't uh, if, if that uh, doesn't have a cycle that's smaller than the, the cycle of, of the alphas, and so instead of this one here, you're putting you're you're you're, you're putting a k on here. I say maybe maybe. <laughs> and maybe we maybe you could do it with, with with the assumption that beta k is non-empty. No, we can't do. It. Yeah. We know that there's a four-state solution to this with no contradictions. So, okay. Now, um, a k plus one equals a zero. What a? If a k plus one equals a zero. Yeah, a k plus one equals a zero. Just for good measure, gamma zero equals gamma k. Gamma zero equals gamma k. And uh, <laughs> let's get to the model here. Uh, alpha zero equals alpha k. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, so alpha zero equals alpha k, and, and a k plus one is a k zero equals b k. We forgot that one now. Now a zero equals b k. Yeah. Okay. So we have enough assumptions here. Then. Then we start with. All right. <laughs> yeah. Then. Uh, then we right, got a bad yeah. cycle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, something. I mean, it's not nice. No. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh, what? What? Uh, uh, well, you know, we, the, the nice thing about this is, even though we have question marks, we can sometimes still go somewhere. Right. Let's but, make uh, alpha zero equal alpha, alpha k plus one. Just make it. But it looks like well, I think Roger's point is that knowing something about the the um, uh, the, the finding a sub pattern among the bees, or, or maybe the last letter of, of gamma k, or something like that. Okay. Uh, anyway. 
Go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Um, if alpha zero equals alpha k plus one instead, then I think we get two. two alpha zero this one. Time. Yeah. And we're going to get. Well, then now. Uh, zero. And then now uh, we're we're yeah we got a cycle. I mean k is not the period though, huh? K. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to get both p k both a and b are ready to change at the moment. Oh, wait a minute. If you got this, then we're just sitting at part of we're in the middle of our. I mean, then we're sitting at alpha k. Then, then we're, we know everything. We're, this is something that we write, except that um, we also know that a k and gamma k are related. Sorry, a k plus one and gamma k are related. Okay, so we get a short cycle here. So I want to get in the state where both a and b are. Yeah, we find, you have to find a place that we. That, you know, in other words, we, this, this can't be bad if it's. <laughs> If it's if it's equal to one of the elements in the good cycle, we got to start out with something. We have to ha we have to have some assumptions that make it bad. So we're going to have to have some question marks in here because they will be situ probably because they won't be situation that won't have occurred in the good cycle. But here's an example how we were able to do that. Just by knowing what's in the good cycle, we were able to prove that there's a bad cycle without it, without any other assumptions. But, but uh, let's. So anyway, that was too much. This is too much. Yeah. But uh, but what 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 if we have no assumptions? What what can you what can you say? Uh, uh, there's something we can we can say about this. We got these all these properties. Does it say anything? First of all, it says that AI alpha I can't move. So we got we got all nulls in here. So the thing we were looking at last night, and, and when we first saw it, we all jumped up and said, yeah, well, this problem's solved now. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, and uh -huh. the idea was to have four, four two-state processors and in, in a ring, well, yeah. and you have intervening processors between all of them. And like this? Oh, you mean you have intervening ones? Okay. Yeah, you just got a ring that, okay. that has just, you know, a square, if you want, whatever. Yeah. Okay. And the idea is that if you know each, and so so in, in the good configuration, you just got one signal that's wandering around yep. the ring. And the idea is that any given side of the square will not be able to distinguish. A, I mean, it's a signal that's supposed to be there from one that isn't. So I mean, you see, you just look at the top side of the square. And when the, the state on the left changes, uh, there's a picture for the baton, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When the state on the left changes, it goes through its routine and eventually ends up changing the one on the right and goes back to, to, to a dormant state. And it's, I mean, if, if the next baton comes too soon, it's not going to know that. Yeah. And the idea so, is so, that so we go zip 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 until it gets over the here. Idea is, the the idea is yeah. to have at any given time have the to have the, the two opposite sides of the square being active so that neither yeah. one can see what the other one's doing. Right. And why doesn't it work? <laughs> well, it's going to... The problem is that the when the states turn off, I mean, when one side sort of goes dormant and passes it on, it can be left in any number of... It can, there can be a number of different states that it's stopping in. You know, well, after the after the baton, if 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 there's some kind of a mismatch here that that, that the good wasn't here, then after the baton moves over to this point, it we've got, got, I can see my reason, we've got some sure. garbage over here that that we we're not sure we can get the baton through again. Well, yes, mm -hmm. that the one baton may leave behind stuff that the other one. But if you, I think if you stick in two I'd more two-state processes, you might. I'd use an odd number of batons for you. An odd number of the times Ramsey said. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she needs to have two of them. Maybe she knows. <laughs> what? I suggest using a power of two number of the times. It's okay. Oh, two. Odd power two. Odd power two. Odd power two. That makes it one of the primes. Prime odd power of two. Yeah. That it will definitely work. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
if we have enough assumptions, we can make it work. Yeah. But, uh, okay. So, so uh, there was so there was a problem of uh, of uh, getting around uh, garbage. And how, how come that didn't didn't occur here? Is this uh, were we were just lucky? Well, so we have know. There's really only one way that I mean, when the baton goes through, there's only one way it can leave things. It just yeah. changes the okay. state. Well, there's a, there are four, there are sort of four ways in this case. I mean, um, mm, wait, uh, let me see. I've got this preceded by gamma i. That's a little bit. Um, that's a little bit flaky. Uh, if I if if I only knew that the that uh, that I never had to to, to get this two state when looking at its at its previous neighbor, then I would be a lot simpler because gamma I has can have a lot of states at the at its right. Uh, but if it, otherwise, I could say that alpha I could either go to alpha I plus one or some alpha I plus one prime. There would be three or four possible things that it could go to, and uh, maybe maybe we could narrow down the the, the possibilities that way. Um, uh, but then again, if it doesn't go to the right one, then uh, uh, then I'd have to argue that there must be a, that it must get to a good cycle somehow from somewhere else. Yeah. Hmm. Well. Uh, one never knows in a research problem whether or not there's going to be an answer to it, and that's another thing about this. And, you know, this uh, it's uh, sometimes happens in this class that nobody solves a problem that was <laughs> that was that was posed. It, we got to take the um, you know we 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 got partial results only sometimes. One of them uh, went went for five more years, and then it was solved by by one of the students. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, who, who had a bright idea, you know, years later. <laughs> but um, uh, but uh, we we shouldn't give up on it until we know <laughs> until we until we've good, until we've given it a, a good shake, right? And uh, and there's also, of course, ways, as I said, to to find other other similar problems going with uh, uh, saying let's just let's just take a small n and and do, do our best for for some small value of n. All right. Now, so we got we got only one more minute to go. Is there is there any other uh, thoughts that somebody might contribute to the group? Okay, everybody's asleep or, or confused. Uh, no, confused is not the word. We're just uh, we're just thinking. Uh, yes, only go off into a into a, a quiet room and. Uh, and see if this, uh, and, and see what the real, uh, what the real solution is. Okay, um, <clears throat> we'll wish Mike uh, well. He leaves this weekend for the for the uh, national uh, programming competition in 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 uh, Louisiana. We know that the Stanford team is going to wipe everybody else out. <laughs>